What's going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another Glee episode. This is going to be Season 4, Episode 2. Let's get into it. My name is Brittany S. Pierce, and I finally know how Jesus feels in his house way up at the North Pole, because <laughs> I am on top of the world. <laughs> Senior year was awesome, and now I get to relive every minute of it. Brittany, who are you talking to? I thought I was doing a voiceover. <laughs> it was kind of a rough summer. All I have to say is, it's Brittany, bitch. Yes. Yes. Hey, but you're winning. What are they? What is that? What is this thing? What is this item? If I said I want your body. Oh, are we getting a breakdown? Are we getting a breakdown? Oh, she was popping something. I don't know if it was a hood, but something was just popping. Would you hold it against me? Okay, that was fire. I fucking love what Britney does. That Britney! Does gar Lies. Garbage Liza. Britney! My office. Liza yeah. Minnelli. Britney, I hold in my hand Lies. the most recent algebra test of one Becky Jackson. Our plucky little Ewok waddled her way to a respectable C+. Your performance, <laughs> very same exam. You did not call her an Unearthed Ewok. <laughs> hitherto undiscovered grade, F-. minus. You answered every question with C other side. Oh the town my where god. Was never invented. But she's yeah, so cute. Me. Santana, and that's Kurt and Rachel in heaven. Last year, I was lost in a haze of pregnancy hormones, and I allowed your record-breaking GPA to slide. Brittany, you're off the Cheerios. I'm giving the top spot to Kitty. Tough love feels a lot like mean. Oh, don't be mean to Brittany. Brit, I'm so sorry. Wish I was there to make Yeah, me too. Do you think we could scissor Skype later? I love you, Brit, but I'm so late. I'll text you if we get a Scissor's break. Scissor Skype. Okay, okay bye. <laughs> I'm not speaking to you. I know you joined a game. The tango. You have to have it in your arsenal, people. It's all about sex. Partner up, be embraced. She is so hot. Not you, swimmer. Oh. We're short a boy, so a girl needs to sit out. You don't have enough sex appeal to pull off a credible tango. Well, shit. Sorry, I'm late. Someone stole my compass. Take a seat, Brit. I feel like this right here is how most to? teenagers oh, dress uh, these really days. Concerned about you. <laughs> Um, 2023. Brittany, you know you've had some setbacks lately. Brittany, I, I think you and Emma should meet daily. I think you've underestimated the impact being held back has had on you. I don't really have any time. And with that, I said goodbye and swooped out the doorway. My voiceover continuing down the hallway. Okay, what was that? She doesn't have anything to hold on to. Clearly, she's lost her identity. We need to bring Brittany back. Principal Figgins has asked us to perform at the annual back to school pep rally. This is our chance to really wow them. Now, what are we going to perform? Oh my God, are we doing Brittany week again? You showed us the best of Brittany. Shut Youth, up. energy, confidence. She inspires you, and you inspire a us. A whole Brittany so, week again. For the week. We're going to pick one to do for the pep rally. For yes. Her. This one's for you, Brittany. Yes. You don't understand. It's over now. What would it take for you to boyfriend? Hey! Hey! Okay, this is fire. I love this. Yes. Come on, Beaver. I heard you, Blaine. Can't live with him. Can't live without him. Yes. Also, Tina's hair looks amazing. This place is I love this. I love Brittany. We could get a shoebox in Manhattan or this hangar in Bushwick. So what do you think? Should we take it? Are you crazy living here with you instead of those dorms? It's heaven! Okay, you could make that look pretty cute, though. Oh, that water. would be... You could make that look pretty cute. Have you heard from Thin at all? Not since you asked me yesterday. Ooh. You want to feel nostalgic? Mm -hmm. Blaine said they're doing Britney Spears at Getting Glee Club. We are living in the future, Rachel. Speaking of which, my plan. I'm going to re-audition for second semester in Yada. In the meantime, applied for a job at the only place I feel will truly appreciate my sense of style, Vogue.com. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but in a way, I'm almost glad I didn't make it my first try. I feel like I have a, a newfound resilience and, and focus. Yeah, I could really use some of that right now. My dance teacher told me I wasn't sexy enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe you shouldn't wear a bra to your next class. <laughs> and take all of the attention away from the Miss Cassie July. She'd flip. Cassie July is your dance teacher? AKA a crazy July, aka the biggest train wreck in Broadway history. Cassie July was the it girl 10 years ago. She scored the coveted role of Tintress Lola in a high profile revival of Damn Yankees. Then, during the first preview of the Out of Town tryout, stop, stop, music. Whose cell phone is that? I'm not going on until this rude person leaves. Come here. You want your phone? Yeah! No wonder she's always just so angry. You can't get oh, in there. Not at all. You that have to happened. keep fighting. She wants sexy? Give her sexy. Yes. Give her sexy. Let's go. We're both new girls here, and new girls need to stick together. First order of bestie business, boys. Who have you got your eye on? Jake's kind of cute. He's an artist. You mean pickup artist? Oh. Uh -uh. Let me be clear. He's a womanizer. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Superstar. Womanizer, woman, womanizer. You're a 
<laughs> the volcano, I can't. Tina is so cute. We should hang out sometime. Yeah. Is that what you gather? Oh, do it. Jeez. Hey, Brody. Two hundred thousand. Hey, I'm missing you in the showers. Oh. I kind of need to ask you a favor. Okay. Cassie said that I uh, wasn't sexy. You're crazy sexy. I'm not, but uh. Cassie doesn't allow upperclassmen to perform in a class she would have it. fit. Which is why it would be so much fun to do it. One, yes. two, three, not only everybody loves counting. Interesting version of this song. Yes. Make them say my name. Yes. Come on, Team Jesus. I am counting. Pretty interesting they're having Teen Jesus sing a song about a threesome. What we do is Come on. Come on, fish face. Brittany, what are you doing? If I can't have my high pony, I don't want to hear it all. Oh. What's going on in your head right Leave now? Leave me alone, JBI! Leave me alone! You get this. Uh, should we do something? No, he deserves it. I think the whole singing at her thing isn't really helping. Probably what she misses most about Cheerios is being in the spotlight. We should give her that. Leave Brittany alone! <laughs> but it was scootering in the hallway, and Mr. McCarthy's physiology class is the other direction. I'm Ooh. protesting that class. They make you dissect a pig, and I'm kosher. And what about English and algebra and gym? Seems like you're not attending them either. Why are you on my back? I'm not one of your students. I'm not in Glee Club. I'm not looking to change. Your brother was a train wreck, but even at his worst. Damn. He had friends. I don't need friends. I almost didn't come. The other girls told me I was crazy for even bothering. You really think they're right? I think you're a guy who got hurt. Well, you, you think too much. At all my other schools, I was picked on. For the first time at this school, The hair school, and the guitar and the like jacket. What does she mean by the hair? He has normal Be. hair. Glee Club is so lame. What does Shyster have you guys singing? It's Britney Spears week. See, I prefer music that uses actual instruments. Well, you haven't heard my version yet. What song is it? You drive me crazy. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. The earth isn't moving. Oh, that kind of loving. He could kind of do you country music if he wanted. Crazy. They sound really good together. Tell me Ooh. that I'm the only. I'm not they sound really good together. Yes. Ooh. There's some chemistry there. They sounded awesome together. Okay. Yeah, that was a cool mashup too. Oh, how sweet. Oh, ooh, it's love. Love. Kiki, why is everybody in the Glee Club staring at me? Because those fools are jealous. Kiki is Siri's super smart older cousin. What size coffee is that? Kiki, what size coffee am I drinking? 70 ounces of espresso. Thank you, Kiki. Brittany, we're worried about you. We want to help you get back on your feet. You should be the lead performer at the pep assembly on Friday. There's only one problem. I have to lip sync. My voice is too weak to sing live. We'll record the song in advance, and Mr. Schuster will never know the difference. Kiki, is it a good idea what? for me to lip sync at the pep assembly? It's not a good idea. It's a great idea. Jeez. You're late. What are you doing here, Brody? I asked Brody to come in and help me with a little routine. And you just love helping people, don't you? And the reason why I'm dressed all Bob Fosse chic is because I wanted to show you that I do have what it takes to be sexy enough to play Evita, Roxy, and Charity. I think I did it again. Oh. We're more than just cause to lose. Oh, baby. Yes. Oh. 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 You see me wishing I cry. Rachel Berry. Got lost in the game. You better be careful because sometimes there's like nails and shit under there. Dude, you're going to hurt yourself. That was hot. <laughs> I Am I ready to learn love the tango? That. Rachel was incredible. She oh. was okay. And that song, Garbage. You want truth? Fine. Maria Von Trapp. Willie Loman, Shrek, those are the roles that are appropriate for your level of sex appeal. You're just jealous of me, of all of us. Our entire careers ahead of us and yours ended before it even began. And you're just some YouTube joke. <gasps> Get oh, out of my class. Shit. Get out of my class! Out! I mean, that was... Is that all I, I get, Chumbo? I mean, she's right. Why so? Quit it. That's my mom. Are you an only child or, or do you have a twin who's still in there? Dude, imagine the size of her dumps. Are you guys Say you're sorry serious? To both of them. You know what? Screw it. Hey, 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 come on, tough guy. 
All this of them. Is garbage. All of Those them. Guys suck, and I'm the one being dragged to see Figgins. It's taking you to see me, Jake Puckerman. Oh. I'd like to introduce you to your brother, Noah. I'll leave you two alone. You look more like Dad than I do. You told me about you when I was a kid. I do remember my mom and Dad arguing about a baby and some slut waitress. That would be my mom. Schuster called you to come and straighten me out. You're wasting your time. I'm fine, and you are not my brother. You think you're a badass? I'm the original badass. I had my first threesome at seven, and once I beat up a police horse. I know what it feels like. Oh my God. To be scared that you're not important or smart or worth anything. I know what it feels like to spend all day trying to prove something to someone who's never going to give two craps about you. I rode my motorcycle, played my axe, I banged every chick in this place. And you know what? None of it made me a man. What made me a man was sitting here in this room, singing songs I hated next to the biggest collection of losers you've ever seen. And if you come in here, it'll make you want to. I gotta get back to LA. I got a date with a chick who was third runner-up on The Bachelor. Whether you join Glee Club or not, you're my brother. Oh, Holy shit. Imagine being him. Just finding a oh shit. Imagine being Puck and you didn't even know you had a brother. Quiet, oh. please, children. So much. It is my honor to introduce McKinley High's New Directions. It's Britney, bitch. I see you. Keep on rocking. You keep on rocking. Watching. They keep watching. They're lip syncing. Jacques! They want more. We do not lip sync. If the National Show Choir Board of Review gets wind of this, we could be barred from competing. What do you have to say for yourself, Brittany? Quote the legend herself. If I met me, I would say a quick hello and then think I was a really nice girl. And I resigned from Glee Club effective immediately. Poor Brittany. I'm working. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. I felt like you were picking on me for no reason. Stop talking. Ugh, look, you lost it and you lashed out, same as I did 10 years ago. Except all it took for you to snap is a little honest feedback, and you expect to make it on Broadway? Where all there is is scrutiny. Sorry. And what if someone taped your little outburst? You'd never get cast. You have one chance. You screw it up, you're that crazy actress. And why would anybody want to work with you? Because you're good. I was great. It doesn't make a difference, because I wasn't ready for the pressure. It's a whole lot more vicious Ooh. out there than it is in here. That's why I pick on my students. I want them to be ready. I mean, I get it, but I think there's a different way of... I know that I'm not there yet. ...doing that, I don't know. And if I had my choice, I wouldn't let you back in my class. I don't believe in second chances. I know they don't exist. School policy says you get a warning. So, so you're in, and on probation, and dance belt duty. You're dismissed. Schwimmer, don't forget the hamper on your way out. That sucks. Those two are gonna... They'll connect. They'll click. They're gonna click eventually. I got your note to come meet you here. I know what you're up to. The lip syncing, beating up Jacob and Israel. You're intentionally hitting rock bottom. So I can make a glorious comeback, just like Britney. She got paid $2 million to be on X Factor. No matter what happened to her, she just came back stronger. Consider this the last stop on the train wreck express. Thank you. I'm so ready to come back. I'm just so sad that everybody's so mad at me. I think they didn't understand what you were up to. But you did. I think we just think the same. You still seem kind of bummed. I don't know. Santana would have understood, and then she would have used mean words against anyone who got down on me. You miss her, huh? I just miss, like, the little things. Like her laugh and the smell of her armpit. Yes, Ew. we had interesting lady sex, but she was also my best Gross. friend. Gross. Now you have a new friend. I'm, I'm talking about me. Now you just gotta figure out a way to get back on the Cheerios. It's all part of the comeback. I am here to inform you of your legal requirement to restore my high pony and put me back on the Cheerios. I studied the McKinley High Student Council Charter, and it says that the senior class president continues his term until he or she graduates. I never graduated, so technically I'm still president. I drafted an executive order demanding that Brittany S. Pierce be reinstated as a member of the McKinley High Cheerios. This is clearly the plan of an idiot, but a plan nonetheless, and one that required the barest modicum of human logic, which frankly I thought was beyond you. If you want to be back in the Cheerios, I want you to graduate by the end of the year, and that means you're going to have to turn those grades around. I'm already working on that, Mr. Schuster eventually realized that my lip syncing was a cry for help. He and Miss Pillsbury are spending one afternoon a week tutoring me. I got a C minus on my US history exam, which the teacher bumped up two whole letter grades because I wrote in English instead of my secret language. Brittany, welcome back. <laughs> me top four clue. <laughs> what do you think? Am I being too obvious? He hasn't called you because he loves you, not because he's forgotten about you. Your freedom is a gift he's given you. So much freedom all at once that it's starting to feel like Did severe Did y'all buy this part? Because I feel like mm -hmm. pain, cured loneliness. painting over this cake. like real brick. <gasps> There's a great Italian bakery down the street. Like you don't mind going out at night? When you oh, no. Why do I have to walk around like a crazy person yelling at things out. and twitching <laughs> people to keep a distance? From your landlord, maybe. Oh. Well, hello there, kind sir. Uh, I'm Brody. I'm Kurt. Hi. I was just gonna go get some cake. Sorry. Wow, this is huge. Too bad it took me 45 minutes on the train to get here. 
You took the train for 45 minutes just to come and see me? Yep, but I came here to give you this orchid. Apparently Aww. it's good luck in a new place. And they're kind of sexy for a plant. I Thank like you. him. I think it should go. Oh, and I uh, I wanted to tell you something that didn't feel appropriate over text. I really like dancing with you. And I think that you're really sexy. And oh, I think you are amazing and, and, and very, very sexy. You're still in love with your boyfriend. Here's the thing. I will respect your boundaries. But just know that when we're together, whatever we're talking about, about whatever we're doing, I'm thinking of kissing you. Oh, Enjoy the orchid. Shit. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? Is she gonna cheat on Finn? Where is Finn? Is Finn gonna come back? Finn! Finn! You think I could sit next to you in Glee Club? I don't know anybody else. You're going to join? I didn't realize I had that powerful of an effect on you. But it, it helped. I just, you know, I get these feelings sometimes to punch someone or steal a cop car. Your glee club might help them go away, even though it totally sucks balls. Stick with me and I'll help you get through it. You two are cute. It's nice to have a friend looking out for me. So cute. Well, I owe you for what you did for my mom. I just realized I'm still wearing your jacket. Looks pretty good on you. Bet it looks better on me. We're dating now. Didn't Jake tell you? Uh, no, he didn't. Oh. Well, oh, it's not really my style to put a label on you things. You do make a great couple. No, that girl sucks. Uh, dang it. No, 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 no. Okay, let's give a big New Directions welcome to Jake Puckerman. Uh, me and your bro are practically best friends. Is it weird that I know him a lot better than you? God made you, and God doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> Mr. Schuster, if it's all right, I'd like to sing one last Britney song. Did that come out this morning? Because we scraped the bottom of that Britney barrel. This is one of my favorite songs. Every time. Oh, I love this song. This is like one of Britney's best. Notice me. Love is strong. To fly, I fall. Oof. Please forgive me. Pretty. Pretty. Oh. That girl, she doesn't deserve it. She doesn't deserve him, even though he's kind of a brat. Okay, Rachel covered up that Finn heart real quick. Damn, all it took was an orchid? Shit. She covered it. She did. Uh, okay. Damn. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy to cover him up. Shit. That last song was really pretty. I'm surprised nobody did. Um, I'm not a girl. Not yet a woman. Not now. That's my Britney Spears impression. You're welcome. Enjoy that. I'll be here all week. I really like that episode. I love Britney Spears. I love the Britney songs. The only thing that I have minor little nuggets of an issue with is like everybody making fun of Britney. And I get, I get it's from that time and everybody had something to say about it. But like knowing what we know now, she had such mental health issues and I think she still does. And so many things that everybody was just watching happen and everything was a cry for help and nobody really like, and I'm talking about Britney Spears, obviously, nobody like stepped in, like everybody around her was like taking advantage of the situation or not giving her a voice and for years and years and years and years and years and years and even still i think there's still some shady shit going on but we can get into that at another time but it's just such a sad story and i just like when it was like the umbrella thing and the her getting ready to cut the hair like that then it was probably funny but now watching it looking back at this being my first time seeing it it wasn't that funny to me you know what i mean because i i think it's a tragic story that hopefully 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 will get better it's very sad i love me some britney i'm i'm pretty excited about this new cast though i'm pretty excited i can't wait to see what they do with this and i and i said it in the first episode but i'm excited about the two different scene scenery you know what i mean two different cities and i wonder if they'll come together eventually for something but we'll see anyways let me know what y'all thought about this one i'll see you on the next one bye